Leviticus chapter 23 And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, The feast of the Lord, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocation, these are my feasts. Six days shall be shall work be done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, a holy convocation. You shall do no work on it. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of the Lord, holy convocations, which you shall proclaim at their appointed times. On the fourteenth day of the first month at twilight is the Lord's Passover, and on the fifteenth day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread to the Lord. Seven days you must eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. But you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord for seven days. The seventh day shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When you come into the land which I give to you, and reap its harvest, then you shall bring a ship of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. He shall wave the ship before the Lord to be accepted on your behalf. On the day after the seventh, Sabbath, the priest shall wave it, and you shall offer on the day when you have waved the shift a male lamb of the first year without blemish as a burnt offering to the Lord. Its grain offering shall be two cents of an epa of fine flour mixed with oil. An offering made by fire to the Lord for a sweet aroma, and its drink offering shall be of wine, one fourth of hin. You shall eat neither bread nor parched grain nor fresh grain until the same day that you have brought an offering to your God. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generation in all your dwellings. And you shall count for yourselves from the day after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the ship of the wave offering. Seven Sabbaths shall be completed. Count fifty days to the day after the seventh Sabbath. Then you shall offer a new grain offering to the Lord. You shall bring from your dwellings to wave loaves of the two tenths of an epa. They shall be of fine flour. They shall be baked with leaven. They are the first fruit to the Lord. And you shall offer with the bread seven lumps for, of the first year without blemish, one young bull and two rams. They shall be as a burnt offering to the Lord with their grain offering and their drink offerings, an offering made by fire for a sweet aroma to the Lord. Then you shall sacrifice one kid of the goat as a sin offering and two male lambs of the first year as a sacrifice of a peace offering. The priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruit as a wave offering before the Lord with the two lambs. They shall be holy to the Lord for the priest, and you shall proclaim on the same day that is a, a holy convocation to you. You shall do no customary work on it. It shall be a statue forever in all your dwellings throughout your generation. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not wholly reap the corners of your field when you reap. Nor shall you gather any gleaning from your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the stranger. I am the Lord your God. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, The seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall be a Sabbath rest, a memorial of blowing trumpets, a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, All so the tenth day of the seventh month shall be the day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation for you. You shall afflict your souls and offer an offering by, by fire to the Lord. And you shall do no work on that same day, for it is the day of atonement to make atonement for you before the Lord your God. For any person who is not afflicted in soul on, on the same day, you sh they shall be cut off from his people. And any person who does any work on that same day, the person I will destroy from among his people. You shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generation in all your dwellings. It shall be to you as a Sabbath of solemn rest. And you shall afflict your souls on the ninth day of the month of it at evening, from evening to evening. You shall celebrate your Sabbath. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the feast of tabernacles for seven days to the Lord. On the first day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. 
For seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. On the eighth day you shall have a holy convocation, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. It is a sacred assembly, and you shall do no customary work on it. These are the feasts of the Lord which you shall proclaim to be holy convocation, to offer an offering made by fire to the Lord, a burnt offering and a grain offering, a sacrifice and drink offerings, everything on its day. Beside the Sabbath of the Lord, besides your gifts, besides all your vows, and besides all your free will offering which you give to the Lord. Also on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the fruit of the land, you shall keep the feast of the Lord for seven days. On the first day, there shall be a Sabbath rest, and on the eighth day a Sabbath rest. And you shall take for yourselves on the first day the fruit of beautiful trees, branches of palm trees, the bowl of leafy trees, and willows of the brook. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. You shall keep it as a feast to the Lord for seven days in the year. It shall be a statue forever in your generation. You shall celebrate it in the seventh month. You shall dwell in booths for seven days. All who are native Israel shall dwell in booths. That generation may know that I made the children of Israel dwell in booths. When I brought them out of the land of Egypt, I am the Lord your God. So Moses declared to the children of Israel the feast of the Lord.